the most dramatic evidence of the changing face of St Helens, with its multi-million pound central redevelopment scheme in the mid-70s, was in the market area. By January 1975, the town, which had had a weekly market since 1780, had not one, but three markets, one at Earlstown and two in Old St Helens. St Mary's Market opened in October 1972, and work on the Tontine Market was at such a stage that trading could begin in January 1975. There's a bright future for shoppers, said Councillor Gerald Baxter, chairman of the market subcommittee. There's been a big demand for stalls, he continued. The entire market area is steeped in history. When Market Street was constructed in about 1800, a site was left at its junction with Church Street for market traders. Women would stand with baskets containing farm produce for sale. There was a stout form at this junction where they would sit or place their baskets. In 1843 to 44, the winter was so severe it caused the Society of Friends, with their accustomed regard for their fellow men, to build two wooden sheds along the length of the square so that traders could shelter. The area eventually became the Market Hall in 1870. By the late 1880s, the covered market was formed. Mention the word market, and most people will automatically think of noise, colour, friendliness and bustle and the chance to pick up a bargain. Even if the place was cold and draughty, it had character. Even if the stalls were old and worn, the old market had an atmosphere all of its own. But what surprised me was that they, dis they, they didn't have an outside market again, as well as this, to complement this one. They should have, in my opinion, should have kept an outside market. Then they did try one a few years ago at the college, you know, you know what I mean, at the college, we tried it, but it was just off the beaten track and it didn't take. Now, if they'd made an outside market, say, right outside here on this uh, delivery place there, it would have been ideal, it would have attracted people, because, you know, and you'll find that a lot of councils are looking for markets to attract people in, aren't they? But if they were in the street or adjacent to the market, it'd be great. I still get customers that I still get customers that bring a lot of atmosphere to my stall because they talk about those times. They're brilliant. But uh, no, it's not the same as the open market. No. It was only three day trading. So people used to sort of, I've got to go down to the market to get me fruit and veg. We don't have a fruit and veg stall on this market now. There isn't any survived. They've all been taken over by the supermarkets with the cheap, with the fruit and veg, being able to pick their own. So we've lost that atmosphere where all the fruit and veg used to be, you know, sort of everybody shouting, shouting the wares if you would. We don't get anybody shouting the wares. We're not allowed to shout our wares now where they could shout, you know, sixpence a pound, get your grapes here. And, and that was sort of the outside market. And I think when the older people say we miss the outside market, I don't think it's missing the bargains. It's just missing the atmosphere. They don't have the atmosphere that that one did. And there are still characters around, as there were years ago. Um, in fact, a lot of my customers, my mother served them when they were probably my age. So we, we go back a long way. Mm. Uh, I'd run errands, bring cups of tea, go for lunch. Lunch being what? A piece of toast, a sandwich? Um, Yes, I'd, I'd chat to other traders and generally make a nuisance of myself, I suppose. Thank you. Anything else, my love? First started in uh, Lugs Moor Lane, yeah. sausages, bacon. And then we came in here in 75. We had a few shops and ended up just having this one. Keeping this one. The old market is where the multi-storey car park is now and we had uh, concrete stalls with roofs on oh a typical open market of course it was yeah bit of a wind trap over there though when it winded all the bloody rain blew in and everything you know but uh, uh, I quite enjoyed it actually markets were at the peak then they had an art of setting all their apples on a nice slant and everything looking good 
I know they used to take one or two from the back that was sort of bruised and damaged and I don't think that did the, the fruit market any good. Over the years people have got shrewder. They like to say I can pick my own apples in the supermarket, I can pick my own oranges. If I get a bad one when I get home I've only got myself to blame. They pay more for it but it is better. It is better. Uh, but as I say it's, it's gone. They'll never come back. It was more cosy. OK, being in here, it's warm, ventilated, goodness knows what. But the camaraderie of the people has been lost somewhere along the line. Maybe life is just harder in general. Maybe it's the same in other places. It was more... I don't quite know how to explain, but perhaps more family-orientated. The market superintendent would come around. He was a friend of everyone. If you had a problem, you could see him. These days, we have a market manager who we don't even know. Um, it's just some bods in the offices that run this place. As I say, the market superintendent was always very approachable, always came around to say good morning before he came to collect the rents. But no, these days it's a business run from up there. And we don't know any of them. Always got a cup of tea on the market when I came. <laughs> Always. But there was a tea stall on the old market, I don't know if you remember there. There used to be a tea stall on there. Everybody used to go for a cup of tea there. Burkers, burkers. Well, the atmosphere was different. I mean, it wasn't run by the town hall. It was run by a market superintendent. And he did his job. And the market was just squared the atmosphere. And then we had all the fruit stalls on the roadway. And the market was just packed. People were still buying at seven o'clock at night. We used to have the old tilly lamps. The first time I went to an open market with a nice big hot mug of tea, it was winter, and a bacon butty in that hand. And that, that's my fondest memory, more than anything else. And I thought, this is the right. And then the outside market was great. We still have a laugh and a joke. You see, I've still got my 40-year-old sign there. Dirty dick sign, all stolen property. And I still get a laugh. And we try and run it like an outside market, although we're indoors. So I remember she's been very friendly right? behind the Savoy. Yes, I looked at the open market and it's not the same now, is yep. it? They're going to build an outside market here. It will never be the same as the old outside market. Oh, the atmosphere is brilliant. It always has been brilliant on the market. The atmosphere is very good on the market. I don't know why, but I think you tone the heart of the town when you move. The market hall and the colourful street stalls have disappeared forever. And you can't help feeling that a lot of the character has died with it. Perished in the flames of progress. It seems that not only time is marching on, the traders here at St Helens Market are also being asked to march on yet again for redevelopment. They're having to move to temporary accommodation a hundred yards away to enable a new market to be built. There, they'll have to set up at the start of each day and at closing time be required to remove the whole contents of their stall as the council cannot guarantee security to market traders. They want to move us over onto the uh, multi-storey car park. Well, no, a lot of the traders here are not geared up for that. They need vans. Some of us I could manage over there, but lots of them can't manage over there. We're changing. We're in near the year 2000, and you're never going to get... They're going to build an outside market here. It will never be the same as the old outside market, because everybody's changing. We're all changing. Nobody wants to go in the car park over there, do they? A multi-storey car park. This is the problem now. The new market will be all right when we get it done, but where are they going to put us? In a car park? Uh... Outside, the, outside the indoor market, um, 
to the one behind the Savoy, to the one over on the Hotties, which is now the multi-storey car park, into St Mary's and into here. So it's been a long road. When the mistakes of the 1970s redevelopment are put right through demolition and rebuilding, the traders will be invited back to the new purpose-built facility. The town centre by that time will also have the added attraction of a new department store. Sadly, some traders have been frightened off by the daunting prospect of this massive upheaval and have pulled down the shutters on their businesses for good, and many of the market's older stallholders have gone.